Hey guys, Matt here from Accelerate Off-Grid Touring. Today I'm doing a run through on this 300 series that I did the build on. So obviously one of the key features we did on this build is a dual battery system under the bonnet. Fitted one of these Invicta Zeros, 120 amp hour batteries. Benefits of using this battery, it has a higher output of 150 amps. So you can run a 1500 watt inverter off it if you want to. The battery obviously wouldn't last as long as you'd like. But yeah, it's just a great feature that we're able to fit these ones in now. Obviously we have our DC in, DC out, our isolated Anderson and our sockets. All our fuses there, nice and accessible. Another thing we installed on this 300 series was a cell fire. This is just the aerial for the cell fire. It's mounted in the back, I'll show you that later in the video. But this is also mounted on the GMF aerial bracket. So the good thing about these brackets is that you can get one for the driver's side and for the passenger side. You don't have to just mount your aerials on it. You can mount mini spotlights or whatever you like on them. So another thing we've installed on this 300 series is the advanced ice trailer plug bracket. So the good thing about this bracket is specially made for 300 series. We have our breakaway holder, we have our trailer plug, Anderson plug, we have our safety Dave Wazza connection. We also have our manual inflation for our airbags, which is all on the same bracket, which makes things so much easier to do. So obviously guys, before I said about the cell fire unit, this is where we've mounted it. We've mounted it here because the customer has asked us to mount it there to make it removable to put in his caravan. So all you have to do is undo the two aerials, undo the power cable, and it's just Velcroed on, so it'll just rip straight off. The great thing about the cell fire is it boosts your mobile signal. So with the dual battery kit, we installed our cup holder socket bank. He's got two Gray Andersons, a SIG socket, and two USBs in there. So obviously one of the biggest things we installed in this was the Safety Dave integration system using the advanced ice. So obviously you see there's no extra Safety Dave screen in the corner or on your rear vision mirror because we've wired it so it can go through all your stock head unit. So when you're driving along, you want to see what's happening at the back of your van, hold your menu button and there we are, that's the back of your van. So this has got two channels on it. So when you're reversing, slap it into reverse and there's your other camera for reversing. It's just a great system. Keeps all the wires tucked away. You don't see anything extra. It's safer while you're driving. You don't have anything extra on your screen. It's just great to have. We also installed a black view front and rear dash cam in this one as well. Great safety feature for anything that ever happens to you on the road. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see our latest build up here, YouTube thinks you should watch this one down here. Accelerate off-grid touring, powering your adventures.